That starts in Hovillanos Avenue, in front of the Postiget Beach. The bombardments that Alicante suffered in 1691 by the French squadron and the warlike actions carried out against the castle in the period 1706 to 1709, during the War of Macho del Castillo, where the old citadel was located. The intermediate enclosure corresponds to the most important buildings completed in 1580. Philip II Hall, the old troop corps in front of the large parade ground, behind. Inside is the Museum of the City of Alicante, MUSA, consisting of five rooms that are complemented by the Renaissance Alib. Currently, some areas of the castle are being restored. And that's the history of the castle with more information about it so I hope you like it. There are historians who date the origin of the toponym in the words Bena, Arabic transcription of Pinna, rock in Latin, and Lakwani, an adjective that comes from Lakwant, Alicante for the Arabs. In this enclosure we contemplate, among others, the so-called bastion of the English, as well as other dependencies, park of engineers, noble room, that was hospital, governor's house, etc. The highest esplanade is known as. The first of these is the highest, and is known as La Torda, the turret, as the old Torre del Homenaje, Homage Tower, is located in it. It has the oldest remains of the whole fortress, some foundations of the 11th to 13th centuries. It was not until the reign of Philip II that the great reform of the castle took place, with the appointment as mayor of the castle of Juan Coloma e Cardona, who promoted the, the wise. After a hard resistance by its governor Nicolas Pires, in 1296 Jamie II took possession of the entire enclosure for the crown of Aragon and ordered its remodeling. Almost a succession, in which it was in the power of the English, seriously affected the whole enclosure that suffered the last military action in 1873 when the armored frigate Numancia, in the hands of cantonalist rebels of Cartagena, launched its projectiles on the population and its castle, that would be disartillado 20 years later. Marquina, who was Captain General of the Philippines and Viceroy of New Spain. The Great White Marble Shield, 18th century, over the entrance door to the second precinct was in the real Consulado del Mar, a building. Century later, Pedro IV the Ceremonious ordered the enclosure to be rectified and King Charles I ordered its fortification at the beginning of the 16th century. Because from it you can see the entire Bay of Alicante and its surrounding land. The image of the mountain from the beach resembles a face, so it is called the face of the moor and is an icon of the city of Alicante. Of Bone, betrayed his confidence by surrendering the castle to Espartero's forces, who crushed the revolt by shooting Bone and all his supporters in the Malecon of the port, later erecting in that precise place the monument to the Martyrs of Liberty. On its slopes, archaeological remains from the Bronze Age, Iberian and Roman times have been found. Although the origin of the current fortress must be sought at the end of the 9th century with the Muslim domination. Until 1963, when it was opened to the public, it was abandoned. It was in that year when the two elevators were inaugurated, which go 142.70 meters inside the mountain and are accessed through a 204.83 meters long tunnel. This castle was given the name of Santa Barbara because on her feast day, December 4, 1248, it was taken from the Arabs by the Prince Alfonso of Castile, the future King Alfonso X. The Castle of Santa Barbara II, in Valencian, Castel de Santa Barbara, is a castle located in the center of the Spanish city of Alicante, on Mount Benicantil, a rocky mass of 167 meters altitude bordering the sea, which gave it an enormous strategic value construction of the dependencies that we contemplate today. The works lasted from 1562 to 1580, according to projects of Juan Bautista Antonelli and Giacomo Paleuro El Fraten. During the Spanish Civil War it was used to confine first prisoners of the nationalist side, and later prisoners of the Second Republic, most of them coming from the port of Alicante and the concentration camp of Los. 
which are the ruins of the Hermitage of Santa Barbara, the Guard Corps, the Queen's Bastion, etc., to show them in the video and give the most realistic experience possible. And before we get to see the castle we will see some of the history of the castle. Warning in this video we will show real and truthful data but we do not assure the fact that they are accurate and that there are no errors in the mimes so for those who find faults we are sorry for the inconvenience. The castle is divided into three distinct enclosures. Destroyed by an explosion. From the 18th century dates the lower enclosure where we find the Revel and Del Bon repos which currently serves as a parking lot and in which stands the monument to the illustrious military Alicante Felix Berenger de. On January 28, 1844, during the Bone Rebellion of Colonel Pantaleon Bone, it was occupied by the liberal forces against the policy of General Espartero. Juan Martin L. M. Pesinado, a military friend. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video you will see my way to the castle of Santa Barbara because once I finished filming the castle of San Fernando I went directly to film the castle of Santa Barbara going through several paths too. And now I will leave you with the recordings I made on the way to this castle.
subscribe, and activate all notifications. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like.